Hey everybody, welcome to Feel for the Soul with John Gifter. Thank you so much for taking time to listen to today's broadcast where I'll be talking to you on a very important aspect that there's nothing wrong with you. We live in a time and age when it's so easy for us to focus on the differences, focus on somebody else who's growing or going to new levels, looking at their talents, looking at their skills, looking at how far God has taken them and think that maybe there's something wrong with me. Or maybe you are feeling rejected. Maybe people are not seeing the real gold on the inside of you and think that, oh my goodness, what is wrong with me? Why is it that there's no way I can see my real worth being shown to the world? Why aren't people appreciating? Why aren't people understanding my call? Why is everything so difficult for me? I want you to understand something very important here. Don't ever allow the enemy to make you think that there's something wrong with you. Even if there's so many other people on earth, God uniquely and made you for a purpose. I had wore this shirt for a reason to let you know that you are unique and you have a special plan God has assigned for you. God said in his word that he has fearfully and wonderfully made you. I want you to understand in the, in, in the Amplified Version in Psalm 119, 73, it says that God has cunningly fashioned you. What does that mean? That means if you take the pieces of a puzzle, if you take a particular puzzle, you will not be able to make sense from it. What is wrong with this? Is this puzzle even there? Is it wrong? What is going on? You won't be able to understand. If you take any other piece of the puzzle and try to fit, it won't. None of the, if there are 100 uh, puzzles, okay, uh, pieces in the puzzle, okay, none of the other puzzles, except the ones that are supposed to connect with it, will connect. If you try to bring any other puzzle into the picture, you're going to get disappointed because that's not going to fit in. So many a times today, people are thinking, oh my goodness, this person rejected me. Oh my goodness, that job offer didn't come for me. Oh my goodness, no matter how many times I try, I'm always failing. Maybe there's something wrong with me. I want you to understand, God cunningly fashioned you because none of the things which are not supposed to be connected to you will be connected to you. Only the right people will be connected to you. Only the right opportunities will come be connected to you. So instead of getting discouraged, thinking there's something wrong with you, when a wrong piece of the puzzle is not fitting with your life, try to understand that that is just a puzzle that's not connected to you directly. Maybe you can forget about it and thank God that the right pieces of the puzzle is going to be connected to you. The right pieces of, the, of your life is going to be making sense when it's all said and done. The right people will be connected to you. The right doors are going to be attached to you. So God cunningly fashioned you in such a way that the right people will be attached to you and the wrong people will be detached from you. So don't cry or don't think there's something wrong with you when you see the wrong people being detached. Don't cry and think there's, uh, you're, that you, you are good for nothing because the doors are not opening. Maybe they were never meant for you. It's not just about a good person. It's not just about a good door. It's not just about a good opportunity. It's about what is good for you or right for you. Only that is going to fit for you. That's how God cunningly fashioned you. So today I want you to think about this. Instead of thinking there's something wrong, think about it in this angle. Maybe God fashioned you in that way or cunningly made you in such and such a way so that the wrong people will be detached, so that the wrong pieces of your life, the wrong doors, the wrong opportunities, the wrong platforms are going to be erased and then God will prepare the right piece to come and get connected with you. See, that's how puzzles work, right? When you take about any puzzle in the world, initially you won't be able to understand, make sense. But God has the big picture in mind. He knows when you try initially, some things may be disappointing, some things may not work. Maybe that's just not near your piece. It's, it's all going to make sense at the right time. Today, I encourage you to trust God and say, God, 
I don't understand it. Yes, it hurts why I'm going through this rejection. Yes, it hurts to see why I'm not seeing the progress. Yes, it hurts to see why the doors are not opening, why my promotion isn't coming, why the elevation is taking so much longer than I expected. But can you trust God and say, I thank you because in this process, you are detaching the wrong pieces out of my life. And that means you are getting ready for the right pieces to come into my life. The right doors are coming. The right people are walking here. The right connections are coming your way. And I believe and declare that every one of you are going to be glad when it's all said and done that God would have made something so beautiful. And that puzzle is worth a watch. I hope this message blessed you, encouraged you, taught you something would love to hear from you until next time may god bless you amen we hope you are blessed by this special program by the john gifter international ministries and we are looking forward to hear from you we invite you to stay connected with us through all our services events youtube and other social media forums for regular inspirations teachings and further updates you can also know more about our ministry by logging on to www.johngifta.com. You can now get Evangelist John Gifta's book, Who Am I? Reigning in Life by Unraveling Your Identity, which will take you on a quest to discover your identity, value and purpose. You can order it online or by calling the number on your screen. If you have been blessed by this program and would like us to continue to bless more people, we encourage you to partner with us financially. If you are led to sow into the John Gifta International Ministries, you can now transfer your funds through net banking or Google Pay. Thank you once again for staying tuned. We wish you a hundredfold 2020. God bless you.